I am never going to get this filled if I keep answering Emily's text messages. <laughs> and now I'm waiting for her to respond. This probably explains why I don't get a lot of reading done. But in a good way. It's Paige from the Page Turner. Today I'm doing a review of Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. This comes out August 29th. So I had picked up a copy of this at Y'all West. I actually was given the last copy from First in Line at their booth and I am very, very thankful that they decided to give this to me because this was a fantastic book. This is going to be part of the DC Icon series. Apparently um, Batman is going to be written by Marie Lu, Catwoman is going to be written by Sarah J Moss, and Superman is going to be written by Matt De La Pena. But this is the first one in the series and it was fantastic. Lee Bardugo is an excellent writer, so this was just a really great read. But that aside, um, I finally picked this up I think on the 1st of July because I'm trying to read 10 books in July and this was one of the ones that I wanted to get to this summer anyway, especially before it comes out. I don't typically like giving books star ratings just because I feel like it kind of confines the book to a certain scale, but I did get this one 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. There were a few things that I didn't like, a lot of things I really did like, but it was just a solid 4 for me. So let's talk about the things I did like. I really liked um, Diana's character. I haven't seen the Wonder Woman movie yet, and I wasn't really a big Wonder Woman fan growing up. Like I wasn't really into comic books and stuff when I was younger. So to be introduced to her character via this book, it was a lot of fun to like kind of figure out who she is. And um, I think she's a little bit younger in this than she is in the movie and then in most of the comic book series. So it was interesting to see like a way to relate to her beyond like, oh, that is a female in a strong, empowering role. Like other than that, like just the age thing too was kind of interesting. That being said, she is a very strong and empowering female character and I really appreciated that because I think that term gets thrown around a lot these days. Like, oh this is a really strong female character and they're really not. But Diana is a very strong character. She is physically strong. She overcomes a lot through just this book but then she also has a lot of prejudices from like where she's from and the family that she has on her island and then you know like who she is for them and then when she leaves the island and like there's just a lot of stuff that she goes through. And I really liked that Diana's characterization was well rounded out by the other characters in the book. I think this book had really good characters who I really felt for and felt like I had an emotional connection to, especially Aaliyah, um, Nim, and Jason and Theo. All four of them I was like yes, I care about you. But starting back at the beginning, I liked Diana and I liked learning about her island, but because I didn't know a lot about her past and like where she's from, I felt that that was kind of rushed in the very beginning, so we didn't get a lot of time to see who she is on the island with all of her moms, I guess, is something that I saw on Tumblr. But she is kind of rushed out of there and then we're thrown right into the story and then at the very end rushed back into that. So I wish there had been more time spent with those characters from the island because those were interesting characters too, but I also felt that it made sense for the story of like how fast the pacing was, so it's kind of a toss up on that one. And then after that, the middle kind of dragged for me a little bit in some places. I felt like there was a lot of build up to something that was coming. And the ending was like an explosion because, you know, you have all this build up and then this action and then it was like, whoa, like that's the ending. So I really liked the ending and that kind of upped the star level for me, I think. Um, that last paragraph and then that last sentence literally gave me chills when I read it and I was sitting outside in like 95 degree heat reading this for some reason and it gave me chills. So I was like, wow, that is a sign that this is a really great ending to a really great book. Like this was just a solid book, you know? Like I don't want a sequel, I don't need any prequels. If I wanted more Wonder Woman stuff I could find it elsewhere, but this like stands on its own as a really solid book, which would explain my rating for four solid stars. So I don't know how this book would compare to a lot of other Lee Bardugo books because this is the first one I've read by her. I haven't read Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. Actually Six of Crows is on my list for my TBR this month so hopefully I'll be getting to that 
next. Actually, I'm probably going to read a book in between, but I want to get to it after that because Sam and I, hi Sam, have been meaning to read it for like years, literally years. So we're trying to get to that, but I needed a break after this one just because this was so good and I'm like, I don't want to get burnt out yet from Bardugo's writing. As far as the plot itself, I thought it was very interesting. I really liked the Warbringer story. Um, and then there was a lot of like mythology blended in and um, culture and you know, just a lot of different things that I had never been exposed to because I had never been exposed to Wonder Woman. And there was actually something that I had texted Sam about and was like asking her about a name. And Sam looked it up and said that it was um, a character from one of the comic book series. So I'm wondering if people who are more familiar with the series would notice like certain characters are, their names are kind of put into the series, into this book, which I think is really cool. Like that's a really cool inclusion to have and like bring in the canon of the comics. And there were a lot of fun moments in this as well. I think Diana has a lot of sass just based on like her inability to know a lot of things about the human world. But then the characters from the human world like Thea, Theo, Aaliyah, and Nim, they're really fun too. So they bring a lot of humor into the story. Like there was a couple times where I laughed and I was like, that's not something I really find in YA these days. It's like really funny moments. So that was kind of nice too. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to watch the movie. I'm going to go see it with Emily. Hi, Emily. Um, in Ohio when I go visit her in two weeks. So I'm pretty excited to see how it compares or like the characterizations and stuff. But I really am like just generally more interested in Wonder Woman now because I wasn't exposed to it before. So that'll be kind of fun to like check more out about her. And I see a lot of gifts and stuff on Tumblr. So I'm always kind of, it's always in my peripherals, but I never really jumped into it until now. And then that being said too, I'm really excited to check out more of Lee Bardugo's work as I kind of mentioned earlier, but I do need a break. So I will be reading Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart next. This one comes out in September, so I'm trying to get to this one too before the release date, but I have a while to go. But I just need something short between Bardugo books to kind of give me some space. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to be doing more videos like this just because I'm kind of burnt out from writing reviews on my blog, which is what I've been doing for the past six years. So I'm trying to create more content that's a little more interactive with you guys um, and just kind of build up my channel since this is all very new to me. But um, I'll probably have more reviews coming soon since I am trying to read 10 books this month and this was number two that I completed. So hopefully there will be more stuff coming soon. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Up at Y'all West. No, why am I talking?